lot, right? Someone wants to renovate a house, they want to open up a kitchen. Their biggest concern is, I'm going to take down the wrong wall, the house is going to collapse. Yeah, how do I know if it's a load-bearing wall? So, how do you know it's a load-bearing wall? All right, well, it starts with the direction of the bearing joist, all right? What's carrying the floor? Let's go down into the basement. So, let's open up the front wall. This here? Yeah. Get you, this comes off. Right. So, now you get to look at the foundation, you get to look at the carrying beam right here and the joist resting on with lally columns in the middle. So two lally columns. And that beam is running in this direction, right. same direction as these walls right here. Exactly. So let's slide this over so now you can uh, understand the relationship with everything. So this direction, which is perpendicular to these floor joists. Correct. Now if you've got a load-bearing wall that runs down here, you've got a load-bearing wall here, and if it's another floor, there'd be a load-bearing wall here, and so on down the line. And they're on top of each other, so it's transferring it down to the basement. Exactly. So if the wall is perpendicular to where we see these joists, mm -hmm. it's going to be load-bearing probably. Load-bearing wall. Load-bearing wall. Load-bearing wall. Load-bearing wall. So that means if they are parallel to these joists, yeah. they're not really doing us any good. So they're probably not load bearing. Right. So see that wall right there going in the front door? I Let me just stop this real quick. I'm going to show you guys also um, some clips from one of my videos to show you like in a live demonstration how this would all work. But let's keep watching for a second and then I'll, I'll show you that. Do. All right. Take that wall and move it away. If you notice what's happened above up, Nothing. Like it. All the load here is undisturbed. It can hold and support all of that. Right. Now uh, this load-bearing wall right here that's over the beam in the basement that yeah. comes all the way up and carrying the second floor, what happens if we take that out? So just knock it down. Just tip it forward? Right. Okay. See how the floor joists sag? Ooh, yeah. Okay. So if I did want to take this out, and you take them out all the time, Yeah. what's the proper way to take out this load-bearing wall right here? All right. The first thing we need to do is we've established that it's a load-bearing wall. We now are going to build a temporary wall close to the structure wall, mm -hmm. but far enough away so that we can work on the structure wall and remove it. And obviously something that we would build when the ceiling was still in place, we could right. do that. Okay, so now it's in place, we can remove it. And what's going to happen to our ceiling in that situation? Well, in this case, our ceiling is temporarily supported. So Let me, let me just, just stop this real okay. quick. So. So you saw how they put up those two sure walls in order to take out that wall. Let me show you real quick on one of my videos um, in a live situation of how that would look. So we have two of them here uh, on either side of the wall that we're gonna be removing. So um, that's what it's gonna look like in real life. I'll play a little more. Give ourselves enough room to work between the wall we're taking out and our temporary wall and then the same over here. We have our room to work right here. Be able to cut this ceiling out on both sides. So we have one more. And also in this video, we're doing a recessed beam, which they'll show you in this old house's clip. Um, they show both ways of, of doing the beam, either uh, recessed or with it still uh, visible. So um, let's get back into their video. All right. Okay, so now that the temporary walls are in place, you can remove the load bearing wall. So this comes out. Yep. But what we have to do is we have to make up for the bearing capacity of that load bearing wall and we're going to do that with two posts and one will go against the bearing wall here okay the other one will go on the outside against the stud right here but over the foundation and I'll put a beam in that has been sized to carry the load above so let me stick this one underneath that and with that in place can we take our temporary walls out take the temporary walls out this guy comes out. Our floor above has never left us. It's yeah. still there. And now if we were to push down on this, it's going nowhere. Mm -hmm. And as I look into this room, it's a big wide clear span, but I do see the beam hanging down. So yeah, I got to live with that header there. Right. Now, let's say I want a wide open space, but I don't want a beam. Okay. We would take that beam and we would position it in a different location. 
take this out. Take that out. Take that take post, post out. out? Okay. Because we're going to position it differently, here's the outside post and an inside post. Again, these are over the bearing beam down in the basement. And in this case, this one goes the full length all the way to this top plate here. Right, because it's now going to support the end of the beam that is recessed into the joist system. And again, so as I look at this one, I've got a clear span through the entire room, but now I don't have any drop beam. I've got a flat plane for that entire ceiling. Right, nice and flush on the bottom. It's carrying the load. The engineer has designed the space and so on down the line. So instead of the joists sitting on top of the beam, they are now hanging off of the side. So you've actually right. cut these away and tucked this in the middle. Right, and they're on mechanical fasteners, metal timber hangers. And look at that, so exactly what we want. Load-bearing walls away and you can't see anything in the ceiling. To make sure that those um, supporting posts there are transferring the weight all the way down, um, I'm gonna show you from one of my videos how uh, we can identify where that weight is exactly going to be and so if you have to add in footings or add in uh, some structural stuff underneath that point you can. So um, let me just get back to my... To find where our footing is going to have to be underneath the house I drilled a hole right here and stuck this wire through there to pinpoint it over the bearing beam down in the basement. And in this case, this one goes the full length all the way to this top plate here. Right, because it's now gonna support the end of the beam that is recessed into the joist system. And again, so as I look at this one, I've got a clear span through the entire room, but now I don't have any drop beam. I've got a flat plane for that entire ceiling. Right, nice and flush on the bottom. It's carrying the load. The engineer has designed the space and so on down the line. So instead of the joists sitting on top of the beam, they are now hanging off of the side. So you've actually right. cut these away and tucked this in the middle. Right, and they're on mechanical fasteners, metal timber hangers. Look at that. So All right, so um, let's go back to my video and I'll show you how we did it. So here's the footing. I crawled all the way back under here with the GoPro so you guys could see this. So, that subscribe button. But anyways, this is the footing I just put in. All right, and then pressure treated, four by four. And what happened was, where that wire was coming down, it was right here. So what I did is, I just notched it around that there. And uh, that way we're center, with right where the 4x4 up above is coming down. So it just basically continues on down here to the ground. So I did the same thing right there. So that one is the exact same, except it's not notched out. It just goes right, bef right beside that joist over there. And uh, also I want to make sure you use the um, the right kind of screws for this. I'm gonna stop this Which video is, right uh, here. So if you guys want to watch more of this video, you can watch the whole thing. I'll put a link to it right here up in the uh, corner. But um, I think that that whole video that this old house did was great. Um, and uh, alongside with the real live example is always pretty cool. So. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.